Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So, I know I look different than normal, but today, with no makeup on an intro that I hate doing, but you know, we are going to be dyeing my hair again. So if you did not see yesterday's video, I tried out the new Bleach Please from Arctic Fox. So I will leave that video linked down below, but yesterday I did this to my hair in yesterday's video. And I also trimmed my hair a little bit, it's still kind of like chunky choppy but my hair is still a little bit damp on this side and in the back so i didn't like finish cutting my hair yet i just trimmed it a little bit so i don't waste too much hair dye but today we are dyeing my hair so i'm usually purple or orange anytime i dye my hair other than purple and orange i hate myself for it but it's time for a change you know and <laughs> i've been dreaming of dyeing my hair so much and i have so much blue hair dye that I'm going to use it today. So today we're dyeing my hair blue. We're going to dye it slightly darker than I'm comfortable with. I love like a bright cobalt blue. I usually hate it when I first do it, then a couple days later I love it. But today we're going to dye my hair slightly darker than that. So it's going to be like a probably a navy color, which I normally don't like on myself, but because blue hair color fades so fast, and it, if you do it like a cobalt, cobalt bright blue, it gets really smoky blue really fast. And that's not the look I'm going for. I'm going to dye my hair darker than I'm comfortable with. But we're doing a dark blue today. And I'm going to regret this when I want to dye my hair a new color because blue turns green when you try to remove it. But regardless, I might like it for now. So let's go ahead and get to today's video. Today, uh, 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 yeah. Alright guys, before we get started. Gloves, because I'm not trying to dye my hands blue. And two... All makeup in this channel is cruelty free. I'm a makeup channel, but I do my hair once in a while. I am not a hair professional. I never claim to be. I do this for fun and because my hair is semi-permanent, I don't want to pay someone to keep touching it up every two and a half weeks because honestly, every like five washes, I have to touch my hair up, which is a pain in the butt, but it's the price of having a semi-permanent, cruelty free and vegan hair color and I use Arctic Fox. So today we're going to use a combination of Blue Jean Baby because I have a full bottle of this which is a dark like navy blue which looks really cool in advertisements like I'm really into it but it's really dark so I'm gonna mix it with Poseidon because I have like two half bottles of this so we're gonna do maybe a little bit more Poseidon than blue jean baby but we're gonna mix these blues together I'll show you the blue difference on the bottle so this one's clearly darker but I do need to mix it in because you know I want to use what I have so let's get started yeah, not a super long intro. Also, I'm using the Bleach Please bowl. I just love this new bowl and this big wand. So, you're supposed to do your hair by sections. I'm going to do my roots first. So, they're absorbing the product longer. And I'll do, like, my hairline. Then I'm just going to run it through. I don't have, like, I don't do my hair perfectly. I just run it through. It's really easy to mush around with your hands, too. This is a really easy product to work with. And this does not smell bad. So like most hair dyes and stuff, box dyes smell horrible. I love the way Arctic Fox smell. It smells like grape soda. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Breaking the seal on this bottle. It is so dark. You know what? I don't waste Arctic Fox. I go through a lot of it. I'm already out of Purple Rain. Like I have half a bottle left and I just got three new bottles. And I mixed it with Ritual, so I don't waste Arctic Fox. I use a little cavity part. That's such a cool color, though. It's so dark. Okay, let's mix. Okay, guys, so here is, like, a finger swatch of our color. It's very dark. So I might add a little bit, baby, bit more of Poseidon. But I love how Blue Jean Baby, that's the bottle, <laughs> is giving it a little bit more of, like, a smokier blue. I think it's kind of fun. But like I said, I don't like when the bright blues like fade to like a really smoky thing towards the end and it gets a very pastel. So I think this will give like a little bit more of like a grungy or smoky color to it. So let's get a new finger swatch of our new mixture. Just a little baby a bit brighter. And I'm excited. Let's go ahead and apply it to my hair. I hope this doesn't affect how I feel about grungy greens right now. I'm loving grungy green eyeshadow. So I'm hoping I can still... Um, pull those off with this blue hair color but it looks so cool it's like a really funky cool color and this brush this bigger brush picks up so much product you guys so let's go ahead and do my roots first Mm -hmm. 
right. <laughs> All right. So I have made a mess. Like I had a glob fall on me. I made a mess, but it's in. This is the color. I need to like clean up my scalp and ears and everything before it dies me, but I'm gonna leave this in and I'll let you know. I'll probably leave it in for about half an hour. From now. Half an hour from now. So it's been probably about 45. So that's fine. You can leave it in as long as you want. So you can sleep with Archbox if you want to. It's not gonna hurt your hair. It actually makes my hair feel meh. Yeah, my hair feel my hair feel better after I dye my hair with Archbox. It's like very conditioning. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it in for about half an hour and I will be back with a new hair color and some new eyebrows. <laughs> I'm always like a mental wreck when I film these hair color videos. Like I'm always all over the place because I never know how it's actually going to turn out and I feel like a Smurfette slash blueberry. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished hair color. I did do this twice. So I had a patch right here. It's actually still pretty light that didn't get very much coating. So I just threw in a little bit extra hair color and this was this. So my hair is lighter than I expected it to be. I kind of expected it to be darker, but I wanted to use up the rest of my Poseidon, so now I'm out of Purple Rain and Poseidon, which <laughs> I need to like order some hair color soon. But I think the blue jean baby really gave it like a cool effect, so it's not just that bluey kind of green, especially since my hair was like kind of yellowy blonde before. But like the roots and everything, they look so pretty. Like they look really nice. I don't. I'm not used to the blue hair on me yet. I don't think it looks terrible, but it's a little bit like weird. <laughs> but it does make my cool tone lipstick pull off a lot better than it did with purple hair. So there's that. I'm just worried about how green looks are going to look on my eyes with this. I don't know. Anyways, this is the finished hair color. Always a great experience. My, it's a little patchy where the purple was, but it looks pretty good. Like, it needs a little touch up here and there, but I need to get some more dye first. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below of this hair color on me. It is different for sure than my normal purple. I'm like, purple or orange is my soul when it comes to my hair color. So other than that, I'm like, oh, this is a little weird. But I definitely don't think it looks bad. My hair looks a little healthier now that I trimmed a little bit off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave the hair colors I used for this down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, I was just editing. I thought I'd pop in here to show you that I did darken it, like, a lot. I just used the rest of the Blue Jean Baby with a baby drop of Transylvania and a little bit of Ritual, just so it cancels out the green a little better with a little bit of red to it. So it's very, very dark blue navy-ish. I should have like a full face on so you can see what it looks like a full face. But I decided once this fades some, I'm going to add more purple to it just because I feel like that's more of my comfort zone and my, for my shoulders and everything. Um, the blue is staining everything. I feel like just a hint more purple of this when it lightens up would make me feel a little more comfortable with it. But I do like how dark blue came out with the more blue jean baby because like 85% is the blue jean baby now since I went over it again. So I like this color better than Poseidon, but I probably am just going to buy a bunch more Purple Rain. Yeah, because <laughs> like, I love Purple Rain so much. But for now, I'm happy with it. Like It's not a long-term color for me, but it is very pretty. So this is what Blue Jean Baby looks like, in case you're wondering. And I think it's very nice.